Today, I'm going to show you the easiest and simplest way to add buy now, pay later services such as Affirm, Afterpay, and Klarna to your store. And best of all, we're going to use one plugin, and this plugin is 100% completely free. But first, what is buy now, pay later, and why is this so exciting to you as a WooCommerce store owner? Buy now, pay later sometimes abbreviated to BNPL, is a payment method that allows your customers to buy from your store today, but pay off the total amount in smaller installments over time. But don't worry, your customer isn't paying you off in smaller installments over in time. You get paid in full today, which is why this is so great. Here's an idea of how buy now, pay later would work in your store. Your customers would add products into their cart, and then when they're ready, click to go to your checkout page. When they get to entering in their payment method, they would select a buy now, pay later service and then click place order. The customer is then redirected to the website for the buy now, pay later service where they're asked a couple of questions. An automated system reviews those answers and then redirects the customer back to your website to complete their order. Once your customer reaches your thank you page, the buy now, pay later service pays you in full today, and then they collect the money from your customer directly in smaller installments over time. If you really think about it, adding buy now, pay later options to your website is going to be a great addition to your store. You'll get more sales because the upfront cost is lower for your customer, so it's seen as less of a commitment and a bit more manageable. Your conversion rates will increase and you'll get less abandoned carts, again, because the price to pay today is lower for your customers. You'll also have an advantage over your competitors because some customers these days seek out to buy things on websites that offer flexible payment plans, and you're going to be there to meet those needs. You might also see your customers spending more money in each order as they're able to spread the costs out over time, which is seen as being more affordable. To give you an idea of the scale of buy now, pay later and what you might be missing out on, currently 360 million people worldwide are using a buy now, pay later service. And that's expected to rise to 900 million people by 2027. So just the sheer size of this customer base should be motivating enough to try this out in your WooCommerce store. Now let's look at the options you have available for buy now, pay later services. Affirm, which is available in the United States and Canada and accepts these currencies. Next is Afterpay, which is available in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, and the United States, and accepts these currencies here. And lastly is Klarna, which is available in Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, and the United States. And it supports these currencies here. Now knowing all the benefits that Buy Now Pay Later could add to your store and the options available, let me show you how to set this up in your WooCommerce store. Before you're able to enable Buy Now Pay Later services on your WooCommerce store, you need to first configure them inside of Stripe. So head on over to your Stripe dashboard and in the search bar here, search for any of the Buy Now Pay Later services names. In this case, I'm going to search for Afterpay and then here we can see we could also go to Settings, Payments and Payment Methods. Down here, click on your account and edit settings, and then scroll a little bit further down the page, and you should see the heading buy now, pay later, with the services listed beneath. For each of the buy now, pay later services you wanna offer, on the right hand side, go through the process with Stripe to get them enabled. The process is very easy and straightforward, and it really doesn't take too long. So assuming you've gone and completed the process here in Stripe for each of the different payment services you wanna offer, let's jump over to our WooCommerce store and continue the process. The best part about buy now, pay later is that it is super easy to set up in your WooCommerce store. Here's how to do it. From your WordPress admin area, go down to plugins and then add new plugin. And on the right hand side, search for funnel kit. And here you'll see a list of all the different plugins released by the funnel kit brand. This one here allows you to build entire sales funnels in your WooCommerce store, as well as customize your checkout page, your thank you pages, add one click upsells after your checkout page, 
a whole lot of features aimed at increasing the revenue in your store. You can add a slide out cart to your WooCommerce store, and you can also do things like set up abandoned cart recovery automations and a whole lot more. I definitely recommend checking out the full suite of plugins available here, but for today's video, we're only concerned with this one here, Stripe Payment Gateway for WooCommerce by Funnel Kit. Once you install the plugin, click to activate it. And once done, up the top, you should be able to start the onboarding wizard. This will guide you through connecting your Stripe account to your WooCommerce store. From here, I'll click connect with Stripe. And that takes you over to Stripe's website. I'm already logged into Stripe here, so I can click the Stripe account I wanna connect and click connect. If you're not logged into Stripe, you will be asked to log in first, and then you should see this screen. In this example, I will connect to my Funnel Kit Devs Stripe account. So I'll click connect. And now that's gonna take us back to our WooCommerce website. And just like that, Stripe is connected to our WooCommerce website, as we can see up here. And on the screen, you'll see that you have the normal credit card, debit card option for Stripe, but then we also have some buy now, pay later options. So in my example today, I had in my Stripe account, activated the Affirm, Klarna, and Afterpay buy now, pay later options. And that's why they're showing here. So just note that the options that you see here might be different to what I see, but the process is gonna be exactly the same. Activate the options that you want to use and then go and click save and continue. And then to help our website communicate with Stripe and let it know when payments are taken and refunds happen, we'll configure webhooks. So all we need to do to do that is click set up webhook now. Lastly, you can enable your express payment options like Apple Pay and Google Pay by enabling it here and clicking confirm. For more information on setting up express payment options, definitely check out our other video here on our YouTube channel. There'll be a link to that video in the description below. But back here, Stripe has successfully been set up in our website. I'll put this into test mode so we can do some test transactions and I'll click save and review settings. And we have the big green tick to confirm that this is all set up and ready to go. And we can also come down here and click test connection at any time. And that lets us know that live mode is connected and the test mode is connected as well. Do not forget that once you've done all your testing to come back here and put this into live so that you can actually take payments on your website. So up the top here under payments, we have our Stripe settings where we currently are. We have the credit card settings. We have our express checkout settings. And now we have our buy now pay later settings. As you just saw in this website, we're using Affirm, Afterpay and Klarna. Starting with Affirm, we can see that this is enabled in this website. We have the ability to change some of the text labels that appear on the front end of our website for customers. We can choose where we want to output that we do in fact accept this buy now pay later option. So we could show it on the product page, cart page and the shopping category pages. And lastly, we can handle who can actually purchase using this buy now, pay later service. We recommend leaving this on sell to specific countries. And then down here in this drop down, the countries that you see here will be the ones that are available and supported with this buy now, pay later option. So for a firm, we can see Canada and the United States. Up the top here in this first paragraph, we can click available gateways. That takes us back to our Stripe account. And then down here, Stripe lets us know that a firm is available for the US and Canada. We introduced this setting because sometimes you might not want to allow this service for every country that the buy now pay later service supports. Once you've changed your settings, click save changes and that is now complete. And these options that we have available to us for this buy now pay later service are going to be the same ones we see for the others. So if I click on Afterpay, we get the same options here. And then if I click on Klarna, we get the same options. So let's move to the front end of our website and I'll show you how everything that we've set up to this point is going to work in your store. So imagine that I'm your customer and this is your store. I land on your product page and I can see a notice here that your store does in fact accept the buy now pay later service after pay, which I'm familiar with and used to using. If I want more information about this as a customer, I could click here and a modal will show and just specify how this works. So I'll add items to my cart, then I'll select after pay at checkout, then I'll receive receive an approval decision. And if I'm approved, I can pay this off in installments. So if I exit out of this, let's go ahead and add this into our cart. The cart slides out. And this slide out cart is actually that plugin that I showed you previously in today's video. The plugin is called Funnel Kit Cart. So in the slide out cart, we also see that we can use buy now pay later options in case we missed it on the product page. 
Here I'll click to go to my checkout, and this is a multi-step checkout using the Funnel Kit Funnel Builder plugin that allows you to customize your checkout page and also create a multi-step checkout experience. So I'll click to go to the next step, click to the final step where I can choose my payment method. So normally we have Stripe, the credit card, and down here we now have our buy now, pay later options. So if I wanted to use Afterpay in this example, I would keep it selected and it lets me know down here after clicking complete order, you will be redirected to Afterpay to complete your purchase securely. So I'll go ahead and click place order now. Then your customer would land on the Afterpay website, put in their details, and if they're accepted, they can continue with the process. We're using Stripe in test mode right now, so Stripe's just letting us know that, hey, we're in test mode. Do you wanna pretend like the Buy Now Pay Later service has authorized the customer? So we'll click authorize test payment. And now we land on the thank you page. Us as a store owner, we've received the payment in full, and now our customer is communicating with the Buy Now Pay Later service to pay off the order total over time in installment. Adding Buy Now Pay Later to your WooCommerce store is just one of the many powerful features included with the Funnel Kit suite of plugins. Other features include the ability for you to customize your WooCommerce checkout page, easily add one click upsells to boost your average order value, and so much more. To start making more profit with your WooCommerce store, head to our pricing page to see our current deals. Generally speaking, the more options that your customers have to pay you at checkout, the higher your conversion rate will be. So, what are you waiting for? Check out this video here where I show you how to set up Apple Pay and Google Pay, which are express payment options in your WooCommerce store to give your customer just another option to use at checkout.